you must use change these Windows 11 settings right now. Hey everyone, I'm back. In this video, I'm going to tell you about 10 Windows settings you should tweak in 2023. Whether you just got a new laptop or PC, or you've been using Windows for a while, it's a good idea to make these changes. They'll boost your computer's performance and come in handy down the road. Let's jump right in. Alright, the first thing on our list is creating a restore point for your Windows computer. It is a smart move for any Windows user because if you run into issues later on, you can go back to a time when your computer was working smoothly. Here's how you do it. Click on the Windows search bar and type Restore. Look for Create a Restore Point and click on it. A new box will pop up. At the bottom, you might see a message saying to enable protection. If it's not highlighted, click on Configure. In the next window, enable Turn on System Protection, then click on Apply and OK. Now, the Create option will be highlighted. Click on it. You can give your Restore Point a name or use today's date for quick identification. I'll go with today's date. Click Create. In just a few seconds, your Restore Point will be created. And that's it. Now, let's talk about another important setting. Creating a local account on your computer. Many folks just use their Microsoft account to log in, but having an additional local account with admin rights is a good idea. It can be handy if your main account isn't working or for various other purposes. Here's how you do it. Click on the Windows search bar and type NetPLWiz, then hit Enter. You'll see a page pop up. Click on Add. It might prompt you to add a Microsoft account, but we don't want that. Click on the bottom where it says Sign in with the Microsoft account and not recommended. Choose Local Accounts and give it a name. Click Next and your local account will be created. The next time you want to log in with this local account, click on the Windows icon, then your profile picture, and you'll see the new account listed. It's a simple but useful step, so go ahead and create that local account if you haven't already. Now, let's dive into Windows Update Settings. Right-click on the Windows icon, then choose Settings from the Suggestions. In the Settings menu, scroll down and click on Windows Update. This is especially for those who keep their Windows updated regularly. Under Advanced Options, there's a key setting to focus on. Get me up to date. Typically, after an update, Windows automatically restarts, which can be inconvenient if you're in the middle of important work. Disable this option. Right below, there's another setting. Notify me when restart is required to finish updating. Enable this option. These tweaks ensure that Windows won't restart without giving you a heads up, making your update experience smoother and less disruptive to your workflow. Now, let's talk about choosing the right power plan for your Windows 11. It's crucial to align it with the kind of tasks you do on your computer. Here's how. Click on the Windows search bar and type powercfg.cpl, then hit Enter. You'll see various power plans. Depending on your usage, if you're into gaming, opt for the high-performance power plan. For everyday tasks on a laptop, consider the Power Saver plan for maximum battery life. If your computer use is a mix of both, the balanced plan is a good choice. Selecting the right power plan ensures your computer performs optimally based on your specific needs. Adjusting this setting now can make a noticeable difference in your overall experience. Let's talk about syncing your browser data, a crucial setting for those who use multiple devices. This is especially handy in scenarios like accidental formatting or getting a new device. Here's what you need to do. Depending on your browser, I'm using Google Chrome as an example. Open your browser and find your profile picture in the top right corner. Click on it and select Turn on Sync. Log in with your primary Google account, the one you use across most of your devices. Now, any work you do on this browser will be saved, and if you log in on another device, all your data, including saved passwords and preferences, will sync seamlessly. This setting ensures a smooth transition and access to your data across multiple devices. Don't wait! Set it up now! Now, let's talk about tackling bloatware, the pre-installed applications that come with Windows 11. After a recent update, you can now easily remove these apps that you don't use. Here's how. Click on the Windows icon and then click on All Apps. You'll see a list of default pre-built applications on your computer such as Calculator, Calendar, Clipchamp, Cortana, Get Help, Get Started, Mail, Maps, Media Player, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Store, Microsoft Teams, and more. Identify the apps you don't use. For example, if you don't use Microsoft Teams, right-click on it and choose Uninstall. Repeat this for other apps you want to remove like Maps or Clipchamp. 
By getting rid of unnecessary bloatware, your computer will likely perform better and be more streamlined. Give it a try, and you'll notice a positive change in your computer's performance. Alright, let's talk about disabling the fast startup feature. Many people use this option for quicker shutdowns, but it can cause issues as it doesn't close all running applications properly. Here's how you can disable it. Click on the Windows search bar, type powercfg.cpl and hit enter. In the left menu, click on choose what the power button does. You'll see a setting for fast startup. Click on change settings that are currently unavailable. Uncheck the box for fast startup. Click save changes. By doing this, you're ensuring that your computer shuts down more thoroughly, reducing the chances of problems when you turn it back on. Even though it might take a few extra seconds to shut down, it's worth it for a smoother startup experience. Next, let's make your computer faster by turning off some privacy notifications. Here's what you can do. Right-click on the Windows icon, go to Settings on the left, and choose Privacy and Security. In the Windows Permissions section, click on General and turn off all the options you don't need. Go back, click on Speech, and turn it off. Do the same for inking and typing personalization. Now, go to Diagnostic and Feedback. You can turn it off for now. If you need it in the future for Windows updates, you can enable it temporarily. Disable Activity History and App Permissions, turn off Location, Camera, Microphone, and Voice Activation for apps you don't use. Scroll down to Phone Call and turn off Notifications for Call History, Phone Calls, Messaging, and Radios if you don't use them. By doing this, you'll save computer resources and make it run smoother for better performance. Okay, let's talk about improving your computer's startup time by disabling unnecessary startup applications. Here's what you can do. Right-click on the Windows icon and choose Task Manager from the Suggestions. In Task Manager, find and click on Startup. Look for third-party applications like Steam, Discord, Skype, Browser Launchers, and OneDrive. Right-click on each of them and choose Disable. For example, you can disable Microsoft Edge and OneDrive if you don't want them to start with your computer. Ensure you don't disable any essential files related to audio, Wi-Fi, or antivirus. But for third-party applications, feel free to disable them. By doing this, these applications won't start automatically with your computer, making your booting time faster and improving overall performance. You can manually open them when needed. Alright, let's talk about a crucial setting that can protect you from various online threats, phishing attempts, and hackers. Many times, you receive emails or notifications asking you to download something and without realizing the exact file extension, you might end up downloading harmful content. Here's what you can do. Open your file explorer, click on the three dots, then select Options. In the top menu, click on View. Find the option for Hidden Files in Folders and choose to show them. Ensure the option, Hide Extensions for Known File Types is unchecked. Click Apply and then OK. By doing this, you'll be able to see all files along with your extensions, helping you identify the type of file you've downloaded. This simple step adds an extra layer of security to your computer. Apply these settings today, and if you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye!